Hey, how's it going everyone? Atlantis here, and I'm excited to bring you the second video in our weapons guide series where we're taking a look at the available marksman weapons or guns and their weapon abilities at this point in early access, as well as the general mechanics you should know. As always, if you find any of this helpful or want to stay up to date with the latest on Wayfinder, make sure to subscribe and let's jump in. The marksman weapon type is quite popular and brings some heavy punch in terms of damage while having the advantages of ranged engagements. Some weapons, such as the Tempest and Hellswarm, have much shorter ranges since they are of the shotgun subclass, but still do massive damage when close to targets. Right now, wielding a rifle allows players to play fairly safe, avoiding many of the enemy telegraphs and attacks, which makes this weapon type one of the best at staying alive and taking out enemies before they become deadly. There are a few variations of the gun weapon type so far, and those are the Rune Cannon, Shotgun, and Rifle. All three operate on a similar mechanic called Eagle Eye, in which shooting enemies builds up the Eagle Eye meter, and as it increases, the chance of a weak spot appearing on an enemy also increases. Shooting the weak spots will deal bonus damage and grant a locked and loaded charge, which allows a single use of the weapon ability. Weak spots look like small circles with a crosshair and appear somewhere on the enemy's hitbox and can sometimes be difficult to see. When you hit one of these spots, you'll receive a charge to be able to use your weapon ability, and these are located above the weapon ability icon towards the bottom right of your screen. Remember that your eagle eye meter is shown by the yellow vertical line that increases as you continue to shoot enemies. The more this bar is filled, the higher chance you will have to spawn a weak spot. Another mechanic consistent through all of the marksman weapons is the reload mechanic. When reloading, you'll need to tap your reload button again during a specific window to receive a bonus effect, as well as being able to shoot quickly right after. Failing to hit this window will prevent you from shooting for a second or two after, and this could slow down your overall damage or effectiveness. You want to make sure you hit your reload button as the red marker moves down and lands within the white boxed area. You are able to reload at any time by using your reload key. The amount of ammo available before you must reload is displayed to the left of your crosshair and eagle eye meter. An added bonus to using marksman weapons besides the range of combat is the ability to shoot spectra nodes to harvest them. This is small but a quality of life perk nonetheless. Next, let's look at the available weapons and their weapon abilities beginning with the two shotgun subclass weapons. The origins of the Tempest are a mystery but its power is undeniable. The Tempest is a heavy hitting shotgun that was and still is quite popular. Shotguns tend to do more damage the closer you are to targets since you are launching a cluster of shots. The Tempest receives a 2 time firing speed boost when reloading successfully and this weapon partially ignores damage reduction from armored enemies. The weapon ability is called Bullet Storm in which you consume all of your locked and loaded charges and fire 2 rapid blasts per charge. This ability makes your Tempest shoot extremely quick and does an insane amount of burst damage if you have all three charges stored. Specific bosses to farm include the Blood Spawn and Trial of Lingering Light. Next, we have Hellswarm. This weapon releases devastating blasts that rip through enemy squads. Just like the Tempest, this shotgun does more damage the closer you are to targets and receives a 2 times firing speed bonus when reloading successfully and partially ignores damage reduction. The weapon ability for Hellswarm is called Volcano, in which you fire a mortar blast into the sky that rains down fireballs in an area around the player. The more charges you have stored when using this ability, the more fireballs will be launched. This ability looks very cool, but the spread of fireballs is random and sometimes misses enemies. Important bosses to farm for this weapon includes the world boss Talon of Pyre and the Dread Legion. Next we have Arcstorm, which was created by the Spellforge under order of Archon Astalus. This is a rune cannon subclass marksman weapon that does massive damage at a slower rate of fire. The arc storm specializes in extra long range combat and can fire through multiple enemies. It can even fire through walls which makes for some unique advantages. Reloading successfully rewards a 2 times weapon power bonus increasing your damage for a short time. Cannons such as the arc storm also have full resilience piercing fully ignoring damage reduction. The weapon ability is called arc beam that fires a piercing beam in a line dealing high damage and ignoring defenses. This is like a sniper type weapon and packs a punch. Important bosses to farm for this are Riven and the First. Nightshade was designed by Venomous and its needles are infused with the venom of the Orlek Wyvern. This weapon is of the rifle subclass and fires in a 3 round burst and partially ignores damage reduction. Successfully reloading provides a bonus of 2 times weapon power boost. 
Weapon ability is called Wyvern's Fury, which loads the gun with an empowered clip. During this clip, the weapon is fully automatic and every bullet applies a stack of poison, stacking up to 20 times on a target. Poison is a small damage over time that ticks over 6 seconds. Each locked and loaded charge gives you a full clip to fire. Important bosses to farm for this weapon include the Beastmaster and the Dread Legion. Longshot was built by Salen Vex, the first Shrike who founded his network of smugglers. This marksman weapon fires single shots fairly quickly and partially ignores damage reduction. Reloading successfully grants a 2 times firing speed bonus. The weapon ability is called Deadeye in which you automatically spawn weak points on enemies in range. Shooting these weak points deal additional damage and are guaranteed to crit. Important bosses to farm for this weapon include the Storm Twins and Grand Deceiver Maris. Lastly we have Ransom which was first wielded by Duskin Dodge, an infamous scoundrel and highwayman. This weapon fires single shots quickly, partially ignores damage reduction and grants 2 times firing speed bonus when reloading successfully. Weapon ability is called Scatter Shot, which fires multiple projectiles in a blast while jumping backwards. You can also purchase this weapon at the vendor for gold. Marksman weapons, or commonly referred to guns by the community, are extremely versatile, safe to use, and provide large amounts of damage. We will continue to take a look at any new marksman weapons added in the future. This concludes our beginner's overview. As always, thank you for watching, wishing you all the best, and see you in the next one.